We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball comes your way next. Jonathan Loisega will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Loisega has a big arm and a good changeup to go along with it. He's from Nicaragua, that long line of pitchers that come from there. I believe Dennis Martinez is from Nicaragua. This guy is a good fastball, low to mid 90s, but the changeup is his best pitch. But if he gets that changeup over early, he can make that 94 95 look 97 98. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball that's 1 0. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Now the pitch. This is lined to left. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first down. That second. The shortstop. Jose Iglesias. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now, 51 degrees at first pitch. The windup and the 0 1. Ball in. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Two two. We got three and two. Anthony Santander waits on deck. Pitch on the way. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, he that battled to get it to a 3 2 right count, but that pitch wasn't Anthony. even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Stepping in, Anthony Santander. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's set. Here it comes. A bouncer up the middle. Torres scoops it up. LeMayhew for one. On to Voigt, an inning ending double play. So nothing happening this time around. Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Wade LeBlanc, a right hander out of Louisiana, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock-solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. So coming to the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll lead things here off here in the bottom well, half of the first. The second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. And the pitch. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. The 1-0. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Yeah. 
Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Chopper to short. Iglesias makes a barehanded play. It's there, and he's out. Batting second. Not shortstop. Waver. Go red. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. From the stretch. At the ball. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. One out, nobody on. Count still at one and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great That's pitch to do hit. it on. It's really not Young the best two-strike approach either. Denton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Smith is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. We've played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Now batting, Renato Nunez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Renato Nunez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. That is it. The first baseman, number 19, Chris David. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the left handed power bat of Chris Davis. First delivery to him on the way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. In time to first, and there are two away. That is fifth. The center fielder, Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes the next to bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Aye. Strike two. You know, he's had a very economical start out there. Got through the first inning on just nine pitches. And he's got a chance to keep it in single digits again here in the second. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. And Duhar is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Digging in, Gary Sanchez. He set to lead off the, the home Yankees. half of the second. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. Yeah. 
pitch on the way. Eight. Oh and one. The 0 1 pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Smith is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Batting fifth. The center fielder, Brett Gardner. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. He's set and the pitch. Outside. Gardner, the native of South Carolina. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. In the dirt, it's 3-0 and now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Fastball too high, ball four. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. That He's exists. capable of taking you deep don't every time he digs in, so it's not the worst thing in the world I'm to work hard. around him if you can. Here's Miguel Andujar now. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this is low, ball one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. He's going. Runners off for second. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And nobody home. A perfect hit and run knock. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. That is Boy, is that a thing of the beauty right there. there. Hit and run Number to perfection, Dero. Runners at first and third. Yeah, it's exactly what you're trying to do. You don't see it in today's game too much. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of walks, homers, and strikeouts. But right there, manager sets it in motion, and the hitter just executes to perfection. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. One pitch on its way. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Nothing and two count and the pitch. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. set and the one two pitch a great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out well their chances of pushing that across again. a run the took a pretty pitch. good hit after that strikeout Ooh. it's so much tougher to score Four. a guy from third with two outs instead of one basically you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball stepping in now Luke Voigt as he'll one take up. a look at ball one and their runners at the corners now Ready with the 1-0. No Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Bottom of the second here with no score. Down oh. low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. Ready with the 3 and 0. Rip down the line. And this is going to be a foul ball.
Out of the stretch, the 3-1 home. This is line to left. And a base hit as the run will score from third, and the Yankees score first. It's one to nothing. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, that D -roll. Big, big, and I mean field. big, two hard RBI Wait. single. Yeah, way to come Wait, through for girl. your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. To the plate now, Clint Frazier. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. One and oh, here it is. Popped him up. Davis in foul ground, and that retires the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Coming to the plate now, Pat Valaika, 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Valaika. First pitch on its way. Hey. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. The MO of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. So he got him swinging. Pat Valaika goes down for the first out here in inning number three. At the plate now, Dwight Smith Jr. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting nine, the catcher, number 28, Pedro Severino. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Here's the first pitch to him. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Voigt is there, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down one nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that will bring in DJ LeMayhew. The second baseman. DJ Love Mayhew. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh. And he lays oh, off no, there, no, one and oh. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Soft liner towards short, and this will be flagged down easily for the first out of the inning. The batter, not shortstop, Waver Torres. Next for New York, Torres. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike.
Here comes the 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Now batter, the designated hitter, Giancarlo Denson. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. One and oh, the count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rounded back up the middle. Alberto gloves it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they lead it one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now at the plate, Hanser Alberto hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Alberto. And that was one of the hardest hit balls they've had all game, Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. Nope. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Hit in the air to center field. Gardner is right there, one down. Now batting. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Leadoff man retired now for the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. First offering on its way. Hey. Starts things here with a changeup for a called oh, strike. And oh, one and one as this one's in on the hands. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. The 1-1 one, one home. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And the Orioles have their first hit of the game. Up next for the Orioles, the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. That's lifted the other way out to left. And Duhar is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, designated hitter, Renato Nunez. So digging in now, Renato Nunez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch coming, here it is. Yep, that ball went out. Ball and no strikes. Here it is. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. The 1-1 one, one. is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Iglesias is off of first with two away. And a changeup here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Oh, 
Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Orioles leave one. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. At the plate, Gary Sanchez is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. Here's the first pitch to him. Hits this one hard the other way. Fielded cleanly by Davis, and they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. The batter, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Standing in, Brett Gardner. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Ready with the 0-2. Nope. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Still a ball and two strikes. Here's another one, too. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. To two balls and two strikes now. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Here now the 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. Field. That one was spot on, Begin. and he had no answer for I'm it. Too hard. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Nope. Ball one. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two, and he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're up one to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and he said they just aren't putting enough competitive at-bats together right now. He thinks they need to slow the game down a little bit when they get into the box. Top to bottom, they're hitting into way too many outs early in the count and not letting the at-bats develop. He's all for picking on a good pitch to hit when it comes, but they need to make sure they're doing more damage on the swings that they're taking. Okay, thank you, honey. The first baseman, number nine. So stepping in, Chris, Chris Davis. He got on top Davis. of one and was a ground out victim last time. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hey. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Bullet back up the middle. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first now, out. The center fielder, Austin Hayes.
Now at the plate, Austin Hayes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's a ball. Count one and oh. The one oh. Mine to the right side. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Well, that's only the second hit he's now given up tonight, it. and the first one didn't do any damage. Yeah. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Vileka as he rips it on the ground to second. Oh, but the feet of the shortstop is off the mark. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. Oh, this is kind of unforgivable for the second baseman. He tries to square himself to the throw to second to start the double play. And I'm not sure what happened next. Maybe his cleats got stuck or maybe he just lost the grip. But the net result is E4 with two men on board. Into the box now, Dwight Smith Jr. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Full count now. Three and two. Pedro Severino waits on deck. Three two pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a Go lot back. of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, Deborah it's Rita. just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. In now, Pedro Severino. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He set the 0 1. That's a ball. Hayes, the runner at third. Valaika at second with two gone. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here comes the one and two. I got to count two and two. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Ready for another chance? Gio Urshela looking Yankees. to put the ball in play here. Baseman. He went down on strikes Number in his first at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch-outs will stick with you a little longer. First offering on its way. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Hey, so far it's been easy pickings for this pitcher. He's gone now through this lineup almost unscathed. Base. But right there, leadoff single, 
Middle part of the game. Let's see if he makes an adjustment before they do. At the plate, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Ball and a strike. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. A 1 1. Misses for the second ball. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Swung on and missed. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Hit down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Grounded to third. This could be two. There's one. Relay to Davis, and indeed it's a double play. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. Settling in now, Clint Frazier, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. Don't touch that dial, or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. And Dan Heen and his fellow top-of-the-order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your 1-2-3 guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Oh, and one. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Hey. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0 2. Got to find a way to grind. Off speed pitch That's in the dirt it. as he takes it for a ball. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third.
the 2 2 one more time. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Liner towards second. Throw in time at first for out number two. Oh man, now you that, can't hit a ball any field harder field. than that. Anthony. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it though, and then make the out at first. Ready for another shot now, Anthony Santander. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball was too much for him there, swung right through it. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. And right into the shift. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Down. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. The three of us are back with more following this. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. Third the trip Yankees. to the plate for him here tonight. The 0 for baseman. 2 at this point. DJ. Love Here's Mayhew. the first pitch to him. Hit out towards second. Ah, oh, way to get dirty to first. Wow. Big league now playing the hole right there, and that's a pretty good example Wayburn. of why getting hits at this Go level red. is so difficult. You know he was running down the line thinking, for real? You gotta be kidding me. Stepping into the box, Torres. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First now pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some Doug traffic Carbo. on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. 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 Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Giancarlo Stanton now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 oh, for 2 for him to this point. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Clearly working the bottom of the zone. Trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Hey. Two balls and a strike. Hey. Change up. Called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, 
outside in a full count, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home. Line hard, but foul. When the guy on the mound has complete command of his off speed, especially his changeup, sometimes as a hitter you just have to give up pull side to stay on it. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher now right better. there. Catcher. A three-two offering Gary. that was right on the corner, but he couldn't Catcher. get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Striding in, Gary Sanchez. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope, at the ball. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. The 1 0. And it's taken strike one. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Torres at second. Stanton is over at first with one away. Oh. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. Ball three. Three and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. The 3 1. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The 3 2 one more time. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Here comes the Baltimore skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is coming here, and that's going to do it for Wade LeBlanc. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Wait, Sean Armstrong is called incomplete. upon to pitch, really needing now that double play forward. ball. Bases are loaded here Number with only one man out. Sean Armstrong. Brett Gardner will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. From the stretch. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Ball one. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hey. Bases are loaded here, one man out. And he fouls this one off. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a now guy at the letters. Left that's field. the ultimate challenge Be pitching. Care. For me personally, I'm watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Oh. 
Stepping in now, Miguel Andujar. And he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Swings through it for strike number two. that time but a good eye one and two looks like a lefty and a right hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen ready with the one two turned on down the line but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Yankees leave them loaded, but they're on top one to nothing. And here's Renato Nunez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Even though we're late into this ballgame, this guy's deal is still top-notch. This guy's a horse. The 0-1 on its way. That's a ball. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1-1. One, one. I got 2-1 to count. Ball called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game, like it has here. Chris Davis at the plate now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. The windup and the 0-1. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. I'll tell you right now, this guy has his shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not now messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. So now to the plate, Austin Hayes. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Curveball, swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. 
boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. One ball. Well strike. above the letters with the fastball that time. Basic pitching right there. 0-2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now time to go to that curveball down and away. Even count. Two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball out toward right field. Frazier is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They still trail one nothing. At the plate, Gio Urshela. Last time through was a base hit. Number 29. Here comes the first pitch. And this one runs up high. Ball one. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. A bouncer up the middle. The throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Not now particularly first graceful baseman. there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Four. So striding forward now, Luke Voigt. His prior history versus this arm, he's two for four. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's 1 and 1. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Popped into the air, back behind second. Alberto has a play, one away. Now that That's exactly the what they field. wanted out of that pitch Wait. up in the zone. They Break took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Striding into the box, Clint Frazier. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First offering on its way. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. Long throw to third. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Well, this guy has proven he can make some athletic plays in the field. And he takes a decent base route to the baseball here. But I'm not sure anybody Bob is going to bring you. this one in. Ends up out of his reach and bangs up off the wall. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. A ball and a strike. Urshela on third. Frazier at second with one away. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. The one two 
Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Hayes. He can't get to it. This one's down. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 3 0 game. Hey, Dero, that's a big Up RBI next, right there to stretch this Not lead to stop. three. Takes Way a ball. lot of pressure off your pitcher going no into the bottom way. part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three run cushion has to make you feel good. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Ball Lays way. off 1 0. Oh. Runners on first with one down. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he is in there. Not really much the pitcher can do about that one. He put the ball down in the zone where he wanted it, but it was just a solid piece of hitting. Goes down and gets it and pulls it into the corner for extra bases. Yeah, as you know, Dan, sometimes the hitter just wins. Miguel Castro is given the ball here to try to work out of a tough situation. Two runners in scoring position to deal with. Giancarlo Stanton will be the first to face him here as he'll stand in with two men in scoring position and only one away. From the stretch. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Second and third here, one man out. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that gets over the wall now, but both runners will score anyway. Up next, please. There's an interesting play the right there. Base Gary. open, they elect to pitch to him. And what does he do? He hits a ground rule double, which forces the run from second and third to come in to score. At the plate now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One and no pitch on the way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, but it bends just foul into the second deck. Four runs here in this half inning. One and two to the Yankees catcher. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Ready with the two and two. Full count, three and two. And this is a strike three called. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the That's pitcher's favor, but Number it wasn't 11. outrageous. Hey, listen, Red. calling balls and strikes Marker. is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. First delivery to him on the way. Ball Just right a bit too much run on the sinker that time as it misses off the outside for ball one. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's 0 for 9. That's inside. 2 and 0. 
Castro is at least partially known for his big power slider. A lot of break on that pitch, but what makes it unique is how hard he's able to throw it. Here's the 2 and 0 pitch to Gardner. 3 and 0 now. There's ball four. Up next for the Yankees, the left fielder. Miguel. Digging in, Miguel Andujar. Two ball. outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Here's the first pitch to him. That's outside. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Here's the 1 0. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Boy, this is getting tough to watch. How about some strikes right here? Down oh, low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Runners at the corners, two men out. And he misses oh, again, oh, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work Number carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. First pitch of the at bat on its way. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Here comes Hayes. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So four score in the inning, but it could have been much, much worse as they wind up leaving the bases loaded. Eighth inning coming up. The Yankees lead this one five to nothing. In now for the O's, Pat Valaika. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. First pitch on its way. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Slapped hard the opposite way. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much now velocity that. in the game. Let's that was a 96-mile-an-hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off-speed. Standing in now, Dwight Smith, Jr. 0-1 oh, oh, the count. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Malika aboard here at first with nobody out. And a breaking ball, ball in the dirt that right, time yeah. for a ball.
Ran one in on him there as this is hit softly to third. LeMay here for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Up next for the Orioles, the catcher, Pedro Severino. Digging in to try it again, Pedro Severino. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. He's set. Here it comes. And the ball 1-0. Oh. Runner at first here, one man out. That's Fastball well outside. Two balls, no strike. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Runners on first with one down. Hi. Three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that runner in first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Trying to send him packing for the second time. This one's down to third. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming, as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So this home crowd likely to give him a standing O as he departs with the shutout in check and a nice tip of the cap there to acknowledge a job well Your done. Attention, Adam Ottavino takes now the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are Double two zero. on with only one away. Adam. Ottavino. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Hanser Alberto. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. First pitch of the at bat. His head to head numbers against Adam Ottavino. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First and second now, one man out. Fastball misses inside, it's even at one. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. The 1-1 one, one home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hey, doubled up on breaking balls there outside. Now might be the time to bust that fastball in. Runners are at first and second with one away. Two 
started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Again, he sends it out of play. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now batter, the shortstop, Jose. Digging in once again, Jose Iglesias. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Gardner. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. And they're going to get on the board here with the sack fly, but there's still work to be done down 5-1. to one. Now batting. That's a right spot right there as a pitcher Anthony. where you'll trade in Anthony. out for a run anytime. Base is loaded, and only one run scores on the sacrifice fly. Stepping up now, Anthony Santander. And he's over in this one, batting out of the three spot. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and one, here it comes. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Two down runners at first and second. A little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two swing and a chopper down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And here's a pitch first inside base. and that got him. As a manager you never really want to put a man on by a now hit by pitch but you hit. absolutely hate to have it happen when it loads mm -hmm. the bases. Now the pitcher is looking a little shaky and the threat of a big inning is very real. Striding forward now is the DH. Renato Nunez 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. From the stretch. Ah. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead. 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Nothing in two count and the pitch and he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Orioles settle for one home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Yankees lead it five to one. Paul Fry is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now half of the eighth. The Number 51 Paul Fry. 
ready to go for the last go. half of the Four inning. Nine, now at the plate, Luke Voigt. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time? Now and that's pretty much right what he fielder. did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level right with each pitch in that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. In now, Clint Frazier, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the 0 1. Ball, that's in. Bases are empty, one man out. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. And it's fouled away. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Here's another 2-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems Down for back. him on the mound Second since he's come man. out of the pen to start this DJ. inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, Love and he's you. making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, DJ LeMayhew. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. The wind-up and the 0-1. There seem to be different philosophies on it, so Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone. But something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at 2-2. Two and 5-1 two. our score as we play the eighth. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Iglesias is there. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're up five to one. Your Jonathan Holder please. comes on from the now pen, hoping to finish this one game. off here in the top of the ninth. Number 56. Jonathan. Holder. New inning set to get underway. Here's Chris Davis now. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Chris Davis. First pitch on its way. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. 
Wow, this is a perfect now example that. of a <laughs> wily veteran doing what oh. needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Into the box now, Austin Hayes. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the 1 0. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres brings it in. And there's one down now. Up next for the Orioles, the third baseman, Pat. Coming to the Valenka. plate now, Pat Valaika. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, and one, here it comes. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch and a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0-2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done but that's the way you do it. Stepping in now, Dwight Smith Jr. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. Tonight's game comes to an end, 5-1 to one, the final score. So the Bronx Bombers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jonathan Loisega earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.